Hi everyone. See these animations? They were all created using one plugin I created. And I'll share that with you on this tutorial. Just show you how it works. Show you the inner workings of it. Let's get to it. So let's go to Media Pool. Let's bring in a clip. Let's um, shorten this clip, Control D, shorten this to 10 seconds. And um, let's right click on it and make it a compound clip. This particular step of making it a compound clip is particularly critical for this plugin to work. So I go to effects. Once you have it installed, it's going to be installed under MR, under effects. Then we drag in the effect called Slicey. Now there are a bunch of options for this effect. Let's go to, let's turn on snap, go to the beginning, so we have that. Then we have interpolation is the, let's say I set this to, um, let's say I set this to linear, and then I make it just rotation to be none. Let's move it forward a little bit, like so. And then let's turn off mosaic. And then let's make it, so we have it moving up, right? And um, the interpolation speaks to the difference in timing between this slice and the next slice and the next slice. The more it is, the more the distance will be. If I shorten it, shorten it, it takes a while for it to render. And then you see it, it moves a bit closer, right? So that's how interpolation works. Generally, I try to set it up to to be let's say, let's say at a default 20. so for push out you'll see that the image kind of exits the screen by pulling in but for pull in if i pick pull in and i let's move back to this you'll see that it is moving towards the screen so that's how that pulling works then translation i can make it move up down left or right and the flow right now it's exits that means the image goes off the screen if i pick entry you see the image come towards the screen so if we go somewhere here you'll see that the image is coming towards the screen and fills it up so if you do pull out then you see that the image comes from off the screen so i bring it here it comes from off the screen then it comes in like so to the screen that's how this works. So I'm just going to give you a push out. I'm going to leave it at exit for now. Then rotation. Let's go back somewhere here. Then for rotation, if it's none, it just moves. But if I set it to, let's say I set it anti-clockwise, then it rotates. See that rotation? Beautiful stuff. I'm just going to leave it at that. Then sequential or alternate. Now, the rotation, if I make it sequential, they all move in the same direction. If I make it alternate, essentially alternates the rotation. Yes, if I pick alternate, you'll see that, see the, all the slices moving in different directions. Then the texture, I have three built-in textures, linear, radial, if I pick radial, you see this. Then if I pick noise, this is just a, fa a random fast noise thing, then you see it move in this crazy stupid way. Then you can also bring your own external texture which you can go to browse and pick on your system. It could be a still image. I'd rather a still image than a video, but if, if, if an image is better and um, it could be colored or black and white and knock yourself out with that. Then I'll return this back to, let's return it to noise. I like the look of that. Then we bring posterize by default posterize ticked. If I uncheck posterize, you see, the whole effect just goes away but posterize i leave posterize so that i can adjust the number of steps i leave this at 20 typically then mosaic if i pick mosaic then it adds it makes it into hexagon depending on the shape i pick i can pick square i can also pick triangle okay so right now i don't want mosaic on this flow i just want it to be this posterize then so all the settings here will not apply these two settings here and then then we can set the easing and ease out now for this one that we've done now 
to play it out it won't play in real time because this plugin is kind of heavy so what i'd advise is right clicking on it and render it in place right now i don't care about the codec i just want to show you how it works so i'm just going to leave it at that and click on render pick a location and um, there it is so we wait i'm going to skip through this so we get to the end of where it um, finishes uh, rendering the clip so guys we're done so if we play this back see this beautiful thing <laughs> right so this this just crazy stuff right and um, i've i kind of did pre-render a few here for you to just see how it works i think i played that played this during the intro so you see how it works that's with mosaic enabled and then, then we do for triangle and um, then we go in for text this text looks sick have fun with it guys different styles you see the text coming <laughs> and um, guys that's it let me now show you um the innards of this particular plugin let's say i copy this and let's pl place that here paste right click on this and say decompose to original so we have the text effect still here and let's say i open the effect infusion page ignore the way i arranged this so that you can see the whole node tree if i drag this towards here go here and i double click on this i grouped it so you can see how it works so you see that i used a luma here so first things i did was for the texture so this linear now it goes in through this brightness contrast mode and for the brightness contrast mode, i just lift it up by 0 0.05 so the black is not just completely black and then i feed this into luma here each luma here if you look at it is right now 0 0.999 next one is um, 0 0.9 then the next one is 0 0.85 like so so i keep doing increments of 0 0.05 till i get to the very end if we go to this now you see that up until the very end here where i have 0 0.05 and then this final one is just an inverse of this then i feed all of that into a bitmap node i feed all of them into an erode dilate node this erode dilate node is because by the time i feed all of this into an image plane and they all merge together there's a funny slight distance between each of the slices so i use the red delete node and i increase that by 0 0.005 just to overcome that um, space between the image planes when they merge together i feed this into a mass control node then the media in that is coming in i use these to mask it and i feed them into an image plane then all that transformation all that movement you see happens within this transform 3d node that merges I feed that into this transform node, which kind of what I was saying normalizes it into a full screen view. This magic number 1.321. Then I feed it into a renderer node. This renderer node outputs the RGBA and vector. Now feed that into a vector motion blur. And the vector motion blur is set that scale to 0 0.5. And that goes to media out. I think the sheer number of nodes here makes it kind of difficult to. It makes it render pretty slowly. If anybody has any idea out there of how to reduce the number of nodes here and still achieve the same effect, I'd really appreciate it. And because I feel this plugin should run a bit faster. And um, if you guys have any ideas on plugins I could create to make things just a little bit easier for you guys, just let me know. I, I, I like a challenge, right? So thanks for watching. Just wanted to show you this one, share this plugin with you guys. Hope you had fun on this one. And knock yourself out with this plugin. See you on the next one. Cheers.